All right, so Rosie's throwing fits again. Nothing new, although I can't complain too much because she's been really loyal here lately digging these little ponds. But today I was, had just got back to digging after bailing back some sand and I started smelling something sweet. Like a, like smelled like smoke, but had an odd sweet smell to it that I couldn't really explain. It wasn't like the smell of steaming off coolant and it wasn't really the smell of burning oil or burning belt. Honestly, I'd never really smelled anything like it before. And, you know, had I been like driving through the trees or through some brush, I would have thought I'd just start up something, you know, but I was down digging in clay and sand, you know, this was just a new smell. So I got out and looked and I could see something on the back of the engine smoking an awful lot. And I thought, you know, that it was just like a, a, a new oil leak that was dripping on the back of the engine and burning off, but it was different. It, it wasn't smell of burning oil. So thankfully I drove up out of the pond and got up here on solid ground and shut the machine down. And then I jumped up there to look again and I could see flames, which is scary, scary. You don't ever want to see flames on a machine like this. And I grabbed my water jug, that's all I had. I didn't have a fire extinguisher, so I poured water down there, which was, I didn't really want to throw cool water on the back of the engine, but it had to happen. And I got the fire put out, I got to looking, and finally things got, the engine was so dang hot, it couldn't hardly stand over it. Which, not like overheating, it's just hot, the muffler's right there. So I finally got to looking, and I could see there was a wire burnt on the starter. And so, crawled up under the machine, just kind of continued investigating, got to where I could see it real good, definitely a burnt wire on the starter. Don't know why, I don't know what caused it to happen, but I'll show it to you here. I just got it off the machine. I had to wait. I had to just go home and quit for the day and I had to wait for the engine to cool off. It's probably almost 5.30 now. This is about 12.30 when it happened. The engine's still warm. Anyway, so here's my starter. Here's where the main lead from the battery connects to it. And then you've got this, you guys that have seen starters and starter solenoids, you're familiar. This is the solenoid, this is the starter itself. So there's this main jumper wire that connects the two. And this is what burned. Now, when I just got the starter pulled off of there and got to just kind of wiggling on it and, and moving this, it just fell out. So this is kind of interesting because this is the starter and this is the solenoid. Normally I thought the big connections were on the solenoid itself, you know, and then, then you had this jumper from the solenoid over to the starter like that. But I thought this main lug was also on the solenoid and that this wire carried all the current. So this is set up a little different. I don't know how it, you know, contacts from here through the starter to the solenoid or whatever, because this is the control wire from the key. So it's it's like there's a, I don't know. I'm, I'm not an expert on these things. Um, but yeah, it's like there's a, it's like there's a little solenoid in here and then a bigger solenoid on here or something. I don't know. I would almost say, you know, that, that this was the starter, but obviously here's your starter right here in line with this. So I don't know, maybe this, maybe there's a, actually a little stack of gears in here. Maybe this is the solenoid. This is the starter. And there's, there could be a little set of gears in there that control this. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, this wire is broken off. And I don't think it burned and melted off. I think it broke and that's what caused it to short out and catch on fire. So why, I don't know. How, I don't really know, but it happened. Thankful I didn't burn the whole machine down. So once I, once I shut the machine down, I got off and I unhooked the battery right away. Um, you know, just out of habit, basically killed the master switch, same, same thing. And uh, then I got to looking at it. And so once I saw this wire, then I thought, well, you know what? Let me just double check that it's not going to do anything. And so I actually hooked the batteries back up, tried to start it. Yeah, click, click, click. Nothing's working. But I checked both the batteries. They both say they've still got 12 and a half volts at least. Um, I'm hoping that it didn't instantly drain them. 
when it's shorted out, I'm hoping that I don't have to try to, you know, jump start the machine to get it going again. We'll just have to see. But first thing tomorrow, we're gonna be going down to the shop, see if we can find a shop that hopefully can fix this on the quick or has a swap available. I don't think it's a very common starter. Um, so we'll just have to see. There, there might be somebody that has an aftermarket that'll, that they know will fit and bolt up and I'd be fine with that as long as the bolt pattern matches. Anyway, that's the story for now. Excavator almost burned down, but I got lucky again. All right, well, we got our new starter and uh, this is a good deal. This is, man, this is where you have to know people uh, that are in the business and it can really help you out when you're working on stuff like this. So it turns out um, I'm buddies with a guy who owns a starter alternator repair shop and he actually lives up here relatively close to me. He drives right past my house every day on his way down to Houston. So he actually stopped yesterday morning. See, today's Saturday. So I got this pulled off Thursday afternoon. He stopped in Friday morning. I met with him, picked up the old one, drove it down to his shop in Houston, got it rebuilt yesterday, dropped it off the house yesterday evening. So he brought me the rebuilt starter, which there's no warranty on it, but I mean, come on. I'm not worried about that. Um, he brought me the rebuild starter. He also brought me a new master switch, which my master switch went out years ago. And I've just been hooking up. I just hooked my negative battery cable straight to the frame. But I'm going to put that master switch back in too. And finally be back to having a regular master switch. And he brought me a push button ignition switch because he said it looked to him like my ignition switch and my key is probably what actually went bad. Either my key, you know, I went to start the machine and it just stuck. Or it actually shorted out. That part I don't know. I'm not going to know until I hook my batteries back up and try to start this thing if that key... If I hook the batteries up and it just goes to cranking right away, you know, then hey, it's the key switch is fried. But I'm thinking maybe because my keys are on this big key ring, I'm thinking I went to start it and the key ring got caught on something that made it just stay engaged and I didn't notice. Because again, this wire here is what was all melted down. But he said based on the damage on the inside, it appeared that, that the, you know, key had stayed engaged somehow. And it, so it just made this wire, it let that solenoid close and it made this wire just keep flowing current and flowing current and flowing current until it burned up anyway we're gonna get this thing bolted back on hopefully there's enough juice left in my batteries that the machine will start um if not we're gonna jump it off the truck so for now let's get this up there get it bolted up in place and um then we'll let you know oh sweet jesus we're back to running i was just really scared hooking up those battery cables that as soon as i touched the positive it would turn over but and you know my starter switch could still be messed up Super simple guys, nuts and bolts. Um, three bolts hold the starter on. Uh, one main lug for your, your main power feed from the battery and one little screw for your control wire from your starter switch. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna get these tools picked up, which I just started throwing those in there. I've got to put this plate back on. Uh, get all our tools picked up and we'll be back to digging.